G'day, it's Phil here, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking through 50 cent pieces again, looking for commemorative coins, rare coins, and coins worth more than face value. Again, we've got my 50 cent collection book here, already partly filled with the commemoratives we've found so far, and as we go through, the coins will mainly be looking through the reverses, just looking for the commemorative coins. The only coin that I've got left to find in this particular album is a 2000, sorry, yeah, 2019 Aboriginal languages coin. Uh, I found everything up to the Marbo coin, including all of the commemorative state coins. The only coin that I haven't found in circulation was the 1966 round 50 cent piece, which, although it has been found in a roll in this year, uh, it's not likely that I'm going to find one. So when we finish off finding that uh, languages coin, we'll open up a new book and uh, start a new hunt. Well, let's get into it. Obviously the uh, standard of the 50 cent pieces, the standard reverse is the uh, coat of arms and I'll be going through all of the coat of arms or all of the coins at the end of the hunt. Just looking for anything unusual, any uh, errors or coins from years that there was no 50 cent pieces issued, uh, those years being 1986, 87, 89, 90 and 92 and I'll be looking for low mintage coin years as well being uh, 85 and 93 and the first commemorative we have today is the 1982 Commonwealth Games Brisbane coin it's a commemorative coin from the Commonwealth Games and then we have the 60th anniversary of the end of World War II the Remembrance coin 2005 there we go. It's a 2018. It's, it's a low mintage coat of arms. I'll put that up the side there. Student designed coin from 2004. And that's it for the first roll. So we've only got three commemoratives out so far. I will speed it up a little bit, but as uh, we have, I have been doing, when we find the first coin or first type of new commemorative coin as I lay them down, I'll just quickly let you know what they are, but once they're out, I'll just be skipping through them. Uh, there's a 1977 Silver Jubilee coin, and another 82, and then we've got the Australian Volunteers from 2003, followed quickly up by the Year of the Outback in 2002. That's not a bad looking coin actually, the fields on that are particularly nice, not very many dings. I'm in a straight line, uh, and then we have our first Centenary of Federation coin, the uh, coat of arms, Commonwealth coat of arms, that's the, the uh, main set. There's a lot of those minted. And then there's individual states and territories minted as well. And then we have a 2000 Millennium coin. It's not in bad order. The fields are quite clear on that. But uh, on the Millennium coin, we look for a couple of errors. One of them, or a variety, one of them is the Incused variety, where the St. George Cross in the middle of the uh, Union flag there is uh, incused into the coin and not uh, just rounded. That center piece there is incused 
that's not the variety that we've got it's just a standard variety And then we have the changeover coin, 50th anniversary of decimal changeover, 50 years on that. It's a coat of arms. So that will be, it's a new commemorative, there will be a keeper, but it will go there. And we have a coin that commemorates the wedding of Prince Charles and Lady Diana Spencer in 1981. And then the student design coin, secondary student design coin competition winner, which is for the Melbourne 2006 Commonwealth Games, issued in 2005. And then we have a 2019 Jody Clark, which will, at the moment, is a low mintage coin, so they'll put that to the side. It's a 2001, but it is just the coat of arms. And then we have a nice condition bicentenary, bicentenary year, 1988, tall ships. It'll be a keeper as well, but I'll put that down. Then we have also a state centenary of federation coin, and it is the Tasmania coin. Don't see that one very often here in Melbourne, but very nice. That's definitely a keeper that will go down in the keeper section, not with the other commemoratives. For the first time tonight, we've got the uh, year of the family, 1994. Start coming back from this side. For the first time today we have a 
Weary Dunlop, 1995, commemorating the end of World War II. Two thousand and ten, celebrate what's great, straight A. Eh? And another. have a royal visit in 2000 excellent coin And we are on our last roll. Today we had $110 worth of 50 cent pieces. That's what I could get. So, let's see if we can crack another last roll winner keeper out of this roll. There's a very, very grubby bass and flinders from 1998. And as we finish it off with the 2006 coat of arms. We're done for the day. So, what we have definitely going to be a keeper is the uh, Tasmania Centenary Federation. Lovely looking coin there. Also going to keep the changeover coin, the Royal Visit, 2019 IRB coat of arms, as well as a 2018 low mintage coat of arms and a 2019 Jody Clark coat of arms. So, coat of arms up the top there, gonna keep those. A couple of nice keepers there in the Tasmania. What I'll quickly do now is go through the rest of the coins just to see if there's any rotation errors or any other errors. And I'll be back in a second. Well, I'm back again. I've been through the Coat of arms, uh, found a couple of extras that I'd just like to show you, uh, 2021 Jody Clark coat of arms, so that's, we don't know the mintage of that yet, so I'll be keeping that until we do, I've got an, another couple of uh, changeover, 50 cent pieces, so they'll go into the collection with all the rest of them, the only other thing of any note is this 1979 uh, double bar, give you a quick look at that there you can see just behind the emu's head there there are the two bars that are the leaves that come around here and go behind this big leaf here 
So a double bar. It's not a great condition one. I've got a couple be, uh, in the collection, but I'll put it in with the rest. So a double bar, a few other extras. Obviously the coin of the hunt being the Centenary Federation Tasmania coin. Uh, I do have it in the book. Still waiting on the Indigenous Languages coin. Everything else has been great. But uh, thank you again for watching. If you like what I do, please subscribe. Um, give me the thumbs up. Tell your friends. Tell your coin collecting friends. That'd be great. Uh, and I'll see you next time. Bye.